Okay, and we're going to bring you up, and you can say hi to Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Megan. How are you? Good. Oh, I like you're calling me Megan. You really believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hunt, shall I say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dana, so great of you to take time to talk to us today. And, and it's great to see um, you progress in your career from a nurse to doctor. Just, you're yes. doing so much. Thank you. Although I have to say I, I, I will always have a soft spot in my heart for nurses. They're the, they're the ones that do all the real hard work. Well, I, I loved you in China Beach. I have to say I've been a, a big fan of yours. Um, and even I can't, uh, I probably don't want to tell you this, but every time I, you know, hear a clip of you or, you know, you in the news, I think of you. Um, fondly in the movie East or Exit to Eden. Oh, Exit to Eden. Oh, you're one of those people that likes that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You know, I'm sorry, but I like those kind of quirky things, and I thought your character was great. Um, yeah. Although I, I... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, it's just, it's a funny thing because um, there is a small cult following who really likes that movie. I guess I'm one of them. Yeah. I've been outed. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, over the years, you've had some really great characters, and um, this one um, I really enjoyed because I do like kind of the police drama, um, and I know a lot of my, uh, our fans do. We like to, to see a woman in a position of, of power, if you will, but um, using her brains and solving crimes, if you will, and I think the tenacity of your character is, is amazing. So how close is that to your own personality? Well, I'm not as smart as she is. She's pretty brilliant. Um, I'd say I'd say I'm pretty tenacious. I will get, I, I don't like to give up. I will get to the bottom of something. It's hard for me to let go. I can be a little obsessive. Um, I don't think I'm as, I am snarky. I will admit to that. Um, not quite as snarky as she is. I don't think I would get away with it as much as she does. But there is some similarity. There's also similarity in the relationship with her mother and her daughter. I don't have any children, but I, I like mm -hmm. that I like that generational thing of the fact that Megan's mother was really strong, but she wasn't a very good mother. She didn't really know how to be a mother. And the only thing that she emphasized with Megan was to be smart and be successful. So I think because of that, Megan is lacking a certain uh, sensitivity. And I think underneath all that is fear. I think that Megan's terrified of actually feeling something and terrified of being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can, we can see that. I, I've uh, seen the screener for the episode that's coming up. So as a mother, and I'm only a mother of one child, I, mm -hmm. you know, could feel that um, fear. I mean, you really brought brought that to light. Um, you know, willing to do anything to save your daughter, mm -hmm. in addition to her, you know, having her own challenges with, um, you know, having a medical condition. So that's uh, a dual um, edge sword whenever you're dealing with that kind of uh, yeah. situation. Yeah, I just I adore Mary Mauser, who plays Lacey, my daughter, and she actually is diabetic. And it was her oh, wow. idea. It was it was her idea to put that on the show, and so it really meant a lot to her to do that scene. And you know, the thing about Megan is, she just got her daughter back. You know, mm -hmm. she she just started to have a relationship with her. So there is no way that she's gonna ever let anybody take her daughter away from her again. Right. No, that's that's um, a, a very apparent. So what other um, plot lines do you want to see uh, Dr. Hunt get into? Well, you know, Romantic I'm sure... Romantic or...? <laughs> well, I'm sure you've read that uh, there, there's a lot more action this season, so we have a lot mm -hmm. of that going on in terms of the procedural. But I, I also love the subplot this year of uh, her trying to figure out what happened to her father. Um, like we were saying, she's tenacious. And right. her father committed suicide when she was 12. Mm -hmm. And so she finally goes to a psychiatrist to d 
deal with unresolved feelings about that. And of course, that's the last thing she wants to do is talk to anybody about her feelings. And, and I love uh, that Henry Ian Cusick plays my psychiatrist. And he's just brilliant, just brilliant in the part. And um, she, because she's Megan, she starts to question it. You know, did he really kill himself? And she, mm -hmm. she wants to find out. And of course, her mother is not happy that she's going to be opening that, that Pandora's box. Sure. Well, that would be very interesting to follow as the season um, goes on. Um, so what, any guest, special guest stars you'd like to see um, come on? Well, we've got some amazing ones this year. Um, not just Henry and Cusick, but Tim Decay plays this mm -hmm. wacky um, kind of a religious, strict religious father who, who believes in exorcisms. And then uh, we just had uh, Jonathan Banks, who was on Breaking Bad, and I knew him from Wise Guy, and he's just, he was really fun to work with, really fun. And then we have Lorraine Toussaint, who's on as, she's playing our police chief in the, in the, on the show now. So we got some good people. Great. Great. Well, we are enjoying watching you and glad you're back for um, this next season and hope that uh, you're on for several more. Thank you. we do appreciate your uh, um, your skill in delivering uh, a great uh, show to us. Oh, thank us. you. That's really nice of you. Thanks. Okay. So uh, good luck, and we will uh, hopefully be seeing you for years to come on this or other shows. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. That was nice. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, intelligent.